All right, so I haven't made a video in about, I want to say, a little over a month. I don't know the exact same amount of dates, but it's been a while. Uh, ever since the car got hit, the other, the GC I got hit, un, I haven't been discouraged, but it's more like uninspired. So I'm about to back. Gonna try to start making two videos a week, but we'll see. Uh, big thing is today's video is gonna be a Mugen wheel, a rare. This is actually a real JDM Mugen wheel install because I actually bought it and it was very expensive. And a quick release install. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna cover how to get rid of the SRS airbag, the connecting the horn to this wheel. Yes, this wheel has a horn. Mm hmm satisfying. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy. And to reset the light, I'm gonna link that in the, in the video below because I am, I think I found a very good video that explains how to reset the SRS airbag light. Um, anything else? Next video is gonna be an update on what's gonna happen with the Civic because I have actually purchased a lot of parts. <laughs> and yeah. <laughs>See right here, Mugen steering wheel. I don't know. I can't read Japanese in my life. Oh, it's made in Italy. Whoa. So it's fake. Anyways, 350 millimeter with steering wheel, Momo style Mugen power steering wheel. A B C D E F G goes here. Okay, done. It keeps the. You gotta keep your horn. Yeah. No way. I don't lose my horn. To all my friends that also said this, this is a, just a true fact, and I totally believe it. Like, the car's already a screaming metal death trap. It's basically a tin can. If someone hits me, I'm dead, right? So might as well make it less safe. Take out the airbag. Correct. <laughs> you know, I go so slow already. Like, <laughs> I'm not getting hit hard enough. Someone's gonna hit me harder. Don't say that, motherfucker. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't say that. What the, what the hell? <laughs> A keychain. Totally. To compliment. Oh, you asked me about this shit like months, months ago. ago. Yeah, this is that's months right. ago. It's a Beyblade. It's basically a Beyblade, but it's a it's the, it's my new quick release. I got orange because I like orange. But I got the NRG quick release along with <laughs> the lock or the. All right, so this is the NRG hub. Shout out to anyone that steals Steven's steering wheel. Hey, you little shit. <laughs> and then last but not least, you got the. A lock! You know what's funny? I actually ate a burrito for lunch. Alright, so this is the old wheel. Do you see how bad this is? Like, I, I think I talked about this before, but like, this is terrible. Like, when you're driving, this actually sucks. Gonna get. Uh, I broke it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, is that bad? No. This ribbon cable. If I ever want to, sh if I ever want to add the airbag back in, car is junk. It's not, it's not gonna <laughs> need this anymore. And one of them goes to this connector right here. And this goes to the airbag. Um, no, I was supposed to wear gloves for this, but... Yeah. Uh, um... <laughs> now that's covered in blue Loctite. Uh, what's next? Next is... Grab the hub. And, like, this, the semi-gold... I don't know why I bought this one. <laughs> just take this. And you just shove these... Into, uh, opposite connectors. Because, you know, same connectors don't work that way. So this is actually from Honda. It is a shoehorn thing and basically this is gonna touch the back of this while it is screwed into this and what happens here is this why this is connected to a wire that's connected to the horn button i'm gonna find out which button that is but this should work and i have no other way to use a horn because i need this to work please <laughs> Single wire. Put basically connect this to the shoehorn, and then take this and connect it to that plug that we basically, the plug that is goes to the SRS we that we yeeted off that I should, probably shouldn't have. We're gonna just kind of poke into it and figure out which one is the horn button. Airbag has one two plugs. So what I'm gonna do on the sh on the shoehorn, there's two, two, two holes. One I use for the screw, one that's open. I'm going to tie this wire around that little hole. So let's. Oh yeah. So reason why this took two weeks. One thing I didn't have was the dress up hardware. So it turns out that steering wheels don't come with dress up hardware. I I mean not dress up hardware. Steering wheel bolts. So I couldn't really bolt the steering wheel to the hub because I had the 
the Mugen wheel actually has sunk in screw. I don't know if you can tell, but it has sunk in screws. Before anyone says, oh, why didn't you go to Home Depot? It's because they didn't have any screws where I'm at. So I can't use, I can't necessarily use these flat screws even on the short hub. These flat screws, they don't really fit on the wheel with the short hub. So besides the point, um, silver, I already had to order these and this took like a week. So that's why it took an extra week and then it took a week of procrastinating. And so I ordered black ones too. So I got NRG black screws. So why not have the best of both worlds and just do this too. Right here, I have some purple thread locker. It's meant for low, small bolts, little things in the car. So it's good for not making it too tight to take off, but it still makes it tight and it'll, you will need a tool. I, don't, I forgot which part it came in. I think it came with either the wheel or the uh, or the quick release. There's this metal ring, and this 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 button. It kind of it's supposed to be here, right? But it it just kind of it jiggles around. Look at that. Look at that. It just it just does this, right? So 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 like you know you gotta take this metal ring. It, it actually is bigger than the hole, but you see this little space right here. It's meant to you squeeze and you just stick it in on the horn button, the back. This is positive, and this is negative, which is all nice and straight. And then what you do, essentially I think it's supposed to be like, take this off, you take, you take the black, and then what I saw someone do online was they literally just shoved it in between brass piece right there, that brass piece up here, and the metal ring. New plan, just gonna take the leftover, that leftover wire I had, I'm just gonna strip off two ends, Wrap one around the black, wrap one around the ground on the button and the ground on the... <sighs> yep, just gonna do that. Found it. Right, this plug right here. So this plug is what your SRS harness from the airbag and steering wheel and the horn connect to. It connects this way. So the far left plug, which is this first one, don't don't put in the big hole. It's this small, small tiny hole right here, the bottom hole, this tiny hole. Plug it into there, and your horn should work. Before I forget anything, the three holes on the right which is, I'm gonna number it from one, two, three, four, five, and six. Holes four and six are gonna be used for the two ohm, one quarter resistor that, that I'm gonna link in the description below. It's just on Amazon. Instead of buying the jumper thing that you can buy on eBay for like 15, 20 bucks, you can spend $5 for like a hundred resistors. So uh, the wire into hole and your horn will work. Hope you enjoyed that video. It's been over a month. I'm gonna put the exact amount of days right over here just to show how long it's been since my last video. But I hope you enjoy it again. And as for the SRS reset, I'm gonna put that in the description. As for the resistor, I'm gonna put that in the description as well. And if you want the Mugen wheel, I'm also gonna put that in the in the description as well. I got the NRG hubs. It's been like three months, I forgot. Probably off Amazon or something. So you can look there. And yeah, uh, again, next video is gonna be an update on the Civic. I have a lot of parts I purchased and a lot of random video ideas I have come up with. Hopefully I go through with them and I don't forget to record them or I just can do it. I just need to clean the Civic up. I really wanna drive it. And hint, I may or may not have got an engine swap. So look forward to that. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Like the video if you liked it. Tell your friends. I don't know what else to tell you. I hope you enjoyed and 
Don't let a little discouragement stop you from what you want to do. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!